All right, guys, I'm taking you on a little learning adventure with me. Uh, after replacing that, I finally got the top working again. But uh, after investigating the weird crunchy noises over here, I was able to determine that this rod right here, you will see me try to move here in a minute. So this rod right here with the red thing at the end, is supposed to be attached up there with the snapped off red end. And uh, so this part here is what they call the transmission on the left side. So I've seen pictures of it, but it's really hard to tell where that stuff is from a picture. But from the video, you can see it's against the outside wall here. So coming over to the right side of the car, so you can see how that rod there with the little uh, red plastic end is connected in the right place and is working. So when my top opens and closes, it is turning both transmissions at the same time, but only the one on the right hand side is actually working to uh, push the top forward and backwards. That's why my top feels a little loose when it gets to the closed position. And this transmission here on the back end is connected to the clamshell and that's what raises and lowers the clamshell. So my clamshell isn't having a problem because both of those are working. So for me, it's gonna be kind of tough to replace that one. Normally you could stick a long screwdriver or some kind of pry bar between the bar and the wall to pop that out of the socket, but with no rod connected to it, it's gonna be a little tougher for me but I'm gonna have to pop that off. And there's just a little uh, hex bolt down here that's holding it on. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. So this wire that's running through there is just for my uh, reverse camera. So don't worry when you don't see that on your car, you probably don't have one, but I'm gonna have to remove that bolt and get this bar off. All right, so it looks like it is a five millimeter. So let me... Guy going. All right. Let's pull this out. And uh, yeah, that's not what you want to see right there. Let me get a view where you can actually see this thing. All right, so you can't really see this, but I have this uh, pry bar on the inside of it. And I think I just popped it out. Let's see, come here little guy. All right, got it. So that's the piece that broke off. So it should have looked like this on here. So I'm gonna to try to buy uh, one of these individually. Uh, I read somewhere you can't buy just these, you have to buy the whole piece. So I'm gonna start the search for that today and I'll let you know what I find out. All right guys, I'm finally back to my project of fixing this broken rod. I ordered these on uh, eBay, I think. Uh, they were really cheap and uh, just need to fix this. So what I'm gonna do is piece this back together just to see the orientation that it was actually in because I'm gonna try to replace this in the exact same position so the alignment will not be altered. So let's see, what am I gonna do? Take it a paint pen. And uh, the cup of the ball is facing the same direction as this right here. So I'm just gonna make a mark over here so I know that. And then I'm going to try to mark the threads here so I know how deep to thread this thing. All right, so with that marked, I'm gonna go ahead and try 
try to remove this. Oh no good, I can do it by hand. It's not too crazy stuck. All right, so there was lots of threads on there. All right, I just wanna compare these two. I'd like to be the same size, same shape. So they're supposed to work. So let me just uh, thread him back on. It's easy enough to do by hand and I'm gonna go until, yeah, so that's too much. That's when it gets tight. So I'm gonna, oops. So make sure it is the same orientation as before. And I'm gonna try to film this for you going back on. So you won't be able to see on camera, but the little ball that this snaps into, you saw it before. Let's see. All right, it's hard to actually see the ball unless you put your forehead like on the back of your car. I got it in place now. Oops, no, I don't. Just kidding. All right. I have the end of it over the ball now. So let me try to get some leverage. So I think what I'm going to need to do is take like some kind of crowbar and stick it back behind it to help me get enough leverage to snap it in place. Right, I'm gonna try with the breaker bar. I don't know if I can get that back there behind it or not, but we'll see. New strategy, try to use something like this. You gotta be careful here because that's the track and you don't want to jack up the track. And ideally, if I could attach this end first, it would be a lot easier to get leverage to do that. Let me think about that. Right, let's go. This route. Quit doing it the dumb way. Right. Now the ball is too far away, so I'm gonna <clears throat> pull on the roof itself. Pull it closer to me. If you have two people, this is an ideal time for that other person. Nothing. Well, I think I got my tool behind it. I think I got it.
think that finally popped it in. So <laughs> I just used uh, my little light creatively to hold this up into place. If you have two people, you don't need to do that. Use this tool, got under behind the ball, uh, leveraged it and it popped in. All right, let me see if I can show you what it looks like down here. So that's one end attached and that's the other end the ball in the socket ah, sweet victory hopefully that was helpful guys please give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel all that good youtube stuff and i'll see you on the next video